Well, look at this then. The Sony tape recorder TC252 is working again. Uh, it works completely now, and I even got the original manual for this, which is fairly amazing. And uh, it even contains the Dutch manual. And uh, let's see where it go. Here it is. Tape Talk, which uh, explains basically a lot of things like flutter, very short and rapid variations in tape speed, and all that. The Dutch explanation and the uh, English, German, and French manual. Even contains the schematic, which is fairly amazing. Specifications right there. Pretty interesting, all. I got this manual from somebody else. He had one that he threw away, but he still got the manual also. This was the normal version, which has these speakers, which function as a lid. This is the D version, which hasn't got an amplifier and no speakers. And just this uh, cover right here. But, switch it on. This is some stupid German song. Alright, enough for that. Fast forward works. And you can just switch directly into play. And Y works. Not very really fast. I really like those dual VU mirrors. If you put the recorder in a record, and see the light goes red. The tape end center still doesn't want to work too good. I'll try if it works now. It didn't work that time. That's kind of annoying, the brakes still don't work too good, but anyway. It still records and plays a whole lot better, and at the right speed again. Much better than it used to do. You can see the real spin sometimes still, and stop. And then the other stop kicked in. That may have something to do with a little bit of grease going hard there. There's a little lever. This thing is really hard to get off. Come on. There we go. This little lever switch turns on and off the motor. But it don't switch off too good. So you can see there we have the erase head and a recording playing back head. This is a two head. That's the pinch roller right there. And if you put it in play, you can see it moves up. This is play, and this is stop. 
And that's a nice construction, as you can just easily spread the tape. And when you put it in play, the roller simply moves up, and these pressure pads push the tape against the heads. Here's a, a roller. Switch it off. And I see the camcorder battery is dying, so have to hurry. And uh, one other thing you can see, it says here Sony Type 7. And it has a sign for Site 1 and Site 2. And it was made in Tokyo, Japan. Uses these caps to hold the wheels. And as you can see here in the manual, let's see where was that? Yeah, those are the exact same Sony Type 7 reels. So I even have the original take up reel with it. Which also didn't came with the recorder, but I uh, was dugging around somewhere in a second hand store, the one where I bought the uh, Akai GX4000 T reel to reel. And I uh, saw that real line somewhere around, and I just bought it. I didn't even have this deck back then, but when I uh, when I got the deck, it seemed to match perfectly. So that was another great thrift store find. Have this hooked up to the CD direct input on my JVC cassette deck, so it's feeding in the amplifier without having an external aux input because all the inputs on the amplifier are taken by other devices so that's another nice uh, feature let's see here let's take a look on the back side now we have some light here it says sony tape quarter tc252 ac240 volts 50 hertz 20 watts the one with the amplifier does take 45 watts this one only take 20 watts there is the power input. I had to block this because there was a voltage and a frequency selector right here. But that broke, so I had to take it out and scratch out all the voltages and frequencies here that weren't taken. I believe it used to have 100, 120, 150 or something. Uh, 200, 220 and 240 volts. 50 and 60 hertz right there. But other than that, it has here the power cord right here leads to a normal plug right here I had to replace the power cord, the old one wasn't safe enough it was just single insulated we have line out aux in and record playback it just always wants you to use this connection right here and then this is an ex extra record in and a line out but uh, the inputs I have don't have this jack, I think it's a, a DIN jack Whoops! On the bottom, you can see we have a, a vent for the motor and some rubber feet. It doesn't really like standing on this way because it doesn't have feet right here. So that's the Sony TC two fifty two D reels reel. My camera is flashing low battery, so I have to stop now. See you again soon.